Hello, VNTV. Thank you for continuing your support of our KDT Optometry Show. Today, we have a special episode. Before I begin, I want to share a quick quote by Mark Twain. Kindness is the language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. So with further ado, I'd like to introduce our special guest today, Robert Brooke Thank Etheridge. Thank you, Dr. Kwan. Thank you very much. Pleasure being here. <laughs> pleasure. My pleasure. So real Looking quick, um, you're a movie producer, extraordinaire, yes. also a philanthropy and a man of much wisdom and knowledge I want to impart upon our audience. So with pr pr I want to give you, you the platform to pr properly introduce yourself. Oh, well, Brooke. thank you very much. I, I'd like to share with you, I am a retired Army Lieutenant Colonel. I spent one year in Vietnam. I retired many years ago. Uh, I am a Cobra attack helicopter pilot wow. from Vietnam. Wow. I have 1,000 combat missions wow. in Vietnam. Now, another thing, you're always going to hear a lot of people telling you war stories. Sure. I did this, I sure. did that. What I would recommend to you to confirm is ask to see their DD Form 214. Mm -hmm. That tells you everything they did. Mm. Like I have air medals, I have sure. air medals for valor, yeah. wow. I have the Bronze Star, and they are on my DD Form 214. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if it's not on this form, it didn't exist. If it's exist. not on there, so it could be a wives' tale. They or may them, have done it, or, but, but, but because they didn't get credit for it, it's like anything else, you get zero credit. So just <laughs> yeah. be careful when they start telling you war stories. Yeah, okay. I have 1,000 combat missions. I took bullets on wow. probably 800 wow. of my missions, wow. shot down three times, wow. escaped and evaded through the jungles of Nam, but no overnight stays. I am, unfortunately, a 100% disabled combat vet. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, yeah. I have all my extremities. Mm -hmm. I am still vertical, and I hope to be vertical for quite a few more years. Yeah, and your mind is razor sharp. <laughs> so yeah, there's no little little bit. I, the mind, <laughs> mind there. A little bit. Now, <laughs> civilian-wise, I have a company called San Diego Hauling Hunks. Mm -hmm. We pick up junk. We pick up your garage, mm -hmm. empty your garage, clean out your units, that type of That's stuff. That's very cool. We will move you, uh -huh. and we also have a demolition program mm -hmm. where we will demolish one of your buildings for you. In addition to that, I am a movie and a TV producer. Yes. My TV show called The Romance, I'm the executive producer of that show, <laughs> the only <laughs> San Diego TV show uh -huh. nominated wow. for a True Reality TV yeah. Award in mm -hmm. 2016. Mm -hmm. So I'm up front right there with the, the Mark Cubans, yeah. with the Survivors, awesome. with all the other types of TV shows, and I'm about that big in the <laughs> network. And, but the idea is, listen, enjoy life. Enjoy mm -hmm. what you have. Enjoy, look around. There's always people richer. There's always wow. people that have more yes. things, but things are not the most important thing. If you can make one person smile a day, I think you've had a good day. That's wonderful. And that's what's extremely that's important. Yeah. Be positive, have your glass half full. My glass is never half empty, and I hope yours isn't either. Yeah, you. so I, I want to give the audience a kind of how we met. I actually met you <laughs> because from a previous guest, Jennifer Lynch. She was on my episode for two, two episodes, and we spoke about her previous movie and then also Kung Fu Ghost, which is going to be made uh, yeah, shortly in we March. We start March and 1st, you're the, you're filming. The, he's the producer of that movie. And yes. so we met through her, her, her filming, right, uh, from the premiere of her film. Um, which movie was that movie premiere? Well, the, fir the first movie was called Flowers of That's the Night. That's right. That's a martial arts, arts we had. Now, let, listen to this. <laughs> What's not good about it? We have three beautiful women, mm -hmm. Jennifer being one of yes. them, dressed in black leather mm -hmm. outfits, <laughs> and they're all martial arts experts, and they kill 11 ninja guys. <laughs> so, I mean, what, what is not to be successful? Yeah, What's well, not to well, be fun? Exactly. What was so impressive about the film was the realism. When your martial arts sequences were so realistic, like very, vo like, but so real. But that's how I like it. Well, right? Extremely Jennifer realistic. is right down to making sure everything is exactly correct. Mm -hmm. She choreographs it, she goes through it. Another thing about this pretty little girl, she's like 105 pounds, <laughs> soaking wet, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, she does all of her own acts. Stunts, she does all yeah. of the stunts, mm -hmm. all of the events. She'll do all the flips. 
she does all the uh, yeah, punching yeah. and everything, sure. and she will have yeah. black and blues mm -hmm. all over because that's the type of girl she is. Yeah. She wants to get it right. Mm -hmm. She wants to get it done. She's not worried about the first time. She wants to make sure the last time is the good time. Mm -hmm. And that's her attitude. We did another movie, which is called Unsaid. Mm -hmm. We just had our movie premiere for that, yeah. August 31st. That's when we met. In Rancho Santa Fe. That's, that's where, where we, we met. met. That's where we met. So we had a lot of people there wow. going through it and making sure that everything was all mm -hmm. right. And Jen is just a peach. Yeah, she's a I fireball. I love working so I with love, her. Yeah, I love her energy. And and we have our mm -hmm. third movie coming up. I've been the executive producer mm -hmm. for the first yes. two. I'm executive producer for number three. It's called Kung Fu Ghost. Mm -hmm. She was on the program a couple of uh, yeah, couple episodes, episodes ago. Yep, she sure was. And it's going to be a full featured movie. We're going to have 90 minutes. And again, Jen is doing all of the martial <laughs> arts stuff. Uh, I used to be a bad mother back in the day. <laughs> you still are. Now you still I'm, are. I'm, I'm, you I'm can still cupcake. lay it down. You can still lay it down. <laughs> I am now Bro. a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then a follow up with that, you were uh, one of our special guests at the ACMA holiday party. And your message really resonated with me about your about being kind, positive energy, because it really correlates with my four philosophies in life, which my, I call my four P's: passion, positive positivity, purpose, and having persistence. So those are the four P's I try to live my life by, and I'm tr working on that process of just trying to spread good energy into the universe. And we, we definitely correlate on many different levels of that aspect. And, I, and that's why this show is so important because we live in a world of, you know, there's so much chaos and darkness now. You, you, right. you turn on the news. Oh, there's, horrible. you know, you got viruses killing people left and right. <laughs> you, you got people hate crime. In Germany, it was a Germany where s some gentleman just shot, shot 12, which, I, I, I don't know how many. But every time we turn gosh, around yeah. something. And this is it. There is so much negativity in the world that we have to try to push that beside us yeah. so it does not pull us down. Yeah. Because obviously negativity is the worst thing there is. What we want, mm -hmm. and what Dr. Kwai and I were talking about, is positiveness. Yes. Are you positive? I have friends that wake up sad, mm -hmm. distraught, upset every morning. Honestly, I wake up every morning mm -hmm. with a smile on my face. I smile, mm -hmm. I, one, I woke up, so that's very <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, that's but a good number day. two, what am I going to do? And number three, who am I going to help today? Yeah. Sometimes I give advice unsolicited sometimes, sometimes not really receptive to receiving it because they're usually doing something that they shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. And when you give somebody like that an adult, advice mm -hmm. or a suggestion that's not receptive mm -hmm. to improving themselves yeah. they take it negatively mm -hmm. and you can sense their negativity yes, what we want to do we as individuals is try to make everybody smile mm -hmm. and love the fact that you're around mm -hmm. you want them to notice that you are missing mm -hmm. from an event one of the analogies i like to use is does it make a difference when you take your fist out of a bucket of water? Mm. It makes a difference if you feel it makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Obviously, when you look at the bucket of water, <laughs> it's out of there, there's not that <laughs> much, much difference. difference. But do you make somebody else feel important? Mm -hmm. If you can make other people want to listen to mm -hmm. you, then that's important. But it's even more important do you listen to them? No, that's if you point. listen yeah. to them, you listen to their story, mm -hmm. they are going to love you. People will forget who you are, what you did. They will never forget how, how you made them, them feel. feel. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those old <laughs> yeah, adages. The, the, yeah, We've there's said a, that there's before. A, yep, there's a famous <laughs> quote, right? People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. That's it. Right. Very, very important. Yeah. Make sure, and it has to come. I have lots of friends, mm -hmm. acquaintances, and they play the role. Oh, I love you, I'm this, I'm that, hey, what can I do? And they don't mean it. It does not come through with sincerity. Mm -hmm. If you say it, mean it. Oh, definitely. If you say it, do it. Do, yeah. And number three, if you say it, show it. Mm -hmm. And believe me, people can tell mm -hmm. when you're talking yes. from the from oh, the heart. One right. of the things I like to do is watch people with their mothers mm -hmm. or with their pets. Oh, see and how they, they are. And if they, they are loving to their mother yep. and they're loving to their, their pets, pets, 
they're probably a, a good person. person. That's true. And if they're That's not, true. if they're yeah. disrespectful yeah. of their own mother, mm -hmm. I don't That's care how bad she is, she's right. really yeah. gonna be the only mother you ever uh, have. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. She may need some corrective mm -hmm. suggestions on occasions, mm -hmm. but she's still mom. Yeah. So yeah. love mom as much as you can, show her love, but not just mom. Everybody you come in contact with, try to be the individual they want to talk to. Mm -hmm. Try to be the individual that they will say, gee, mm -hmm. I like talking with him. Yeah. And remember, to do that, you need to make them feel good about themselves. Mm -hmm. If you make them feel good about themselves, they will always have a good feeling, mm -hmm. and then that relates back to you. Yes. Because you're the one that made them feel good. Yeah. And they go, oh, wow. And it's not because you did anything particularly extraordinarily mm -hmm. fantastically well <laughs> you made them feel good yeah what's interesting is you shared so many important tidbits of wisdom you know what's interesting i actually attended a, a landmark forum over the weekend and it was transformational on so many levels but one of the things i want to share with the audience is you mentioned thing about you know talking the talk and walking the walk right because there's an expression that talk is cheap actually talk's not cheap Talk is cheap when a person does not honor their integrity and do what they're going to say. Right. Right. That becomes cheap. But then you lose your integrity if you don't do it. If you're going to say you do something, do it because that if you don't, talk does become cheap. Right. Words are words. But if you don't walk the walk, talk, that talk is just talk. Going, going back to the old adage, mm -hmm. a man's handshake should be his word. Oh, it used, that's to, great. Be it used to be that way. It used to be that way. And it still is with me. If mm -hmm. I shake your hand yeah, it's a word, and yeah. say, yes, I will do it. That's a sealed deal. One thing you can guarantee about the colonel, it will do it. get done. Yep. It may not be immediately, but I can assure you that if I tell you I am going mm -hmm. to do You're it, do it, it will get done. Another two items that I think are extremely important will make you more successful with anybody. Now, the first one you're gonna laugh at. <laughs> you have to make your bed every day. Okay, uh, I, I'm guilty, I, I gotta I do I make it. <laughs> my bed every day. Uh, you can, it will pass white glove inspection. My house is already picked up. It's never cluttered unless it just happened. Mm. But a cluttered house, like a cluttered office, is a cluttered mind. Yeah, you right. must keep things wow. in proper my wife is going to love you, what you just said. <laughs> gonna, you should use it against it. me. Yeah. Your room is dirty. <laughs> oh, no. uh, well, uh, Sandra, you're going to love this. Episode. You're going to watch this. <laughs> no, dirty, oh, no. No, no dirty floors. <laughs> no dirty clothes on the floor. Make sure that they're in the hamper. But make sure because now, you, and this goes back to military training. Mm -hmm. However, uh, I'll, uh, side bit, I never keep on the same subject. I am one of the very few guys that graduated from college. I never wore sneakers, mm -hmm. I never wore a pair of jeans, and I never wow. wore a sweatshirt in college. Oh. I always had the slacks She's on, always I had the shirt. Dress for success. I was one of those bad guys. <laughs> I had one of the sweaters tied around my neck. Now, I was not rich. I'm digging, I'll tell you, it gives away my age. I made a dollar an hour digging ditches. Wow. That's how much. Wow. I you? bought a Jaguar, uh -huh. four years old convertible, um, 1,000 hours I worked to get that Jaguar, yeah. and that's when I, one of the co many cars I was driving to college. Mm -hmm. But people perceive you as being something that you're not because of your assets. Oh, that's it's true. good and bad. Yeah, that's true. We all that's like true. to look good. Yeah. We all like to feel good. Mm -hmm. We all like to show off. I think there's very few of my friends that I know. Now, some of them are a little quieter. Yeah. But they want to at least be accepted sure. as being yeah. a good person. Yeah. Smile, always shake somebody's hand. And I get after these younger kids, the millennium, mm -hmm. some of them. They shake your hand and it's a wet yeah, it's limp. A, yeah, wet you noodle know, handshake. Go, what There's is no that? integrity there. I don't even know them, <laughs> and I'm going to correct them, and that's the colonel in me. I go, yeah, yeah. son, so, yeah. let me Firm have a handshake. quick quick moment with you. Now, for the women, I have another little hint okay. for the women. Okay. If I and you are willing to hug me, because I'm, I'm a hugger. I, mm -hmm. I come up, yep. I, yep. I want a hug. Some women are, some mm, women are, are not. not. Yes. As a guy, you have to be very careful mm -hmm not to overly do it yeah. and i will show you any room mm -hmm. any meeting you can see immediately the woman mm -hmm. is backing off oh, oh yeah. i'm a hugger you yeah. might be a hugger if mm -hmm. she's not then she's gonna you're out. not a hugger yeah and for the woman find 
if you're not intimidated, you, mm -hmm. and hugging is okay in mm -hmm. some, it is not, but hug the guy, turn your cheek mm -hmm. so that if he wants to kiss you and you're okay with it, mm -hmm. let him kiss you on both sides. And mm -hmm. I try to kiss a, a lady, no lips. That <laughs> shit, yeah. I, I get, so many times I go up to hug somebody and I get the kiss on the lip. I, <laughs> That's because you're a stud. I don't, yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know story. you, I, I, you know, maybe, you know, different times, different place, <laughs> but out yeah. in public for the woman to look professional, mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with her hugging yeah, a guy, sure. turning her cheek yeah. and getting a little kiss on the cheek. Kissing on the lips, I think, yeah. is unacceptable, yeah. unless you're family. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. your family, whatever <laughs> the heck. I got some of my Italians. I, I get more kisses from them than I do from anybody else. Okay, bro. For crying out loud. You shared, so, we could go endless. <laughs> yeah. So, unfortunately, I yeah, I, I, I really appreciate you sharing your knowledge. I want to. Just end the show with a really good quote I shared with you earlier. Oh, yes, yeah, me, I uh, love let me, it. This, yeah, let me listen share to this, this real one. quick. This is something that uh, you can memorize really it, please do. Okay. While he's looking for it, you're going to love it. Okay, so here we go. Kindness in words creates confidence. Kindness in thinking creates profoundness. Kindness in giving creates love. And it's by Lao Tzu. He's a famous Chinese philosopher. So, Brooke, it was an honor. I really want to have you back. I'd love to hear your story about Vietnam. I'd, and I'd love to. Can, yeah, Thank we can you all very learn from much. That. I appreciate being here. I hope that we shared some of the love. I hope we shared some of the positiveness to you folks. And we'll see you on the next time around. Thank you so Thank much, you. Brooke. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you.